Hi, uh, my name is Amin Yang. Um, I teach international relations at the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. Um, and uh, I'm one of three academics behind the Declaration of African Intellectuals on the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, my two other collaborators are um, Lionel Zevounou, who is a public law professor at the University of uh, Paris, Nanterre, and uh, Nongo Sambasila, who is an economist based in Dakar, Senegal. Um, the purpose behind our declaration really is to urge African leaders to craft careful responses that take into account the specificities of African context, but also to be compassionate towards African populations. Um, as we have seen, some of the responses have been particularly unsuited and uh, have uh, led to more harm to livelihoods and they have saved lives in some places. Um, in the declaration, we also urge African leaders to think about radical reforms beyond the current crisis. Um, Africa happens to be in a paradoxical situation in the sense that even though um, the health um, impact of the pandemic is still relatively limited, the economic impact is quite dire. Um, in fact, we are told by the IMF that we have entered a historic recession and um, that we may be heading to years of economic struggle and austerity. Um, obviously, the reason um, for this is partially to do with the fact that African um, economies have historically been integrated into the global economy as economies of extraction. Um, and in this sense, the pandemic lays bay, but it also magnifies what we already know about the African condition and the nature of the international order. Um, but the, the real question for us is um, what kind of continent do we want to be in um, once all of this is over? Do we want to go back to business as, as usual? Well, we think we shouldn't. We think there needs to be um, structural reforms in uh, socioeconomic governance. We think there needs to be a rethinking of the terms of public accountability. And more crucially, there needs to be a rethinking of the social contract between African states and societies. <laughs>